After a day behind the wheel of a car, I had been popular, I had been terrified, and I was ready to get back on the bus. Oh, no. Hey, kid. Hey. A little young to be driving, ain't you? I'm just listening to the radio, officer. There's only one reason the police in Brooklyn would pass up the chance to bust a black kid in a car. Two black kids in a car. <laughs> How'd it go to court? I won. Just like I told you I would, Julius. You did? Mm -hmm. I told you I wasn't speeding. I proved my case. Then she got fined $80 for contempt of court for doing a victory dance. Did anybody ask you that? My dad was barely done lying down when I started lying it up. Hey, Chris, any problem moving the car? No, it moved fine. No trouble finding the spot? No, oh, simple. Oh, well, thanks. You really helped me out. After all that had happened, I kept thinking about how my dad had trusted me. Even though I'd managed to get the car back home without him knowing, it seemed like the right thing to do was tell the truth. Dad? Yes, sir? I have a confession. I drove your car to school today. You what? I'm sorry. I really am. Son, I'm very disappointed in you. But as long as you're safe, that's all that really matters. Thanks, Dad. But one more thing. Yes, Dad? Since I got the car home and nobody got hurt, I figured the best thing to do was to keep it to myself and never do anything like that again. Amen. Amen.